When two materials come in contact and separate, electric current is transferred between the two materials. This allows for the two materials to remain neutral. However, if one of those materials is an insulator with a large amount of resistance to electric current, charged particles such as electrons or ions will build up on the surface of the materials, resulting in an electric charge. In the charge to race experiment, you rubbed balloons with a wool cloth to give it an electric charge. Rubber, which the balloons are made out of, and wool are poor electrical conductors. Therefore, the electrons that traveled between the two objects built up on the surface. When the wool was rubbed on the balloon, electrons transferred to the balloon, giving it a negative charge. The electrons that broke away from the atoms on the surface of the wool left positive ions, giving the wool a positive charge. Electrically charged materials will have either a negative or positive charge. Like charges repel, but opposite charges attract. These materials will retain an electrical charge until they come in contact with an electrical conductor. The electrical buildup will be able to escape through the conductor by means of an electrical current, neutralizing the charged material. This phenomenon is called electrostatic discharge. If you've ever felt static shock by touching a material, this is an example of electrostatic discharge. Our bodies are actually good conductors of electricity allowing us to neutralize statically charged materials. This is why sliding through a plastic slide in the playground may have caused your hair to stand up. As you know, plastic is not a good electrical conductor, and static charges can easily build up on its surface. Thank you for watching.